Hey, yo what's going on you guys today i've got a couple of topics i just want to update you on because i haven't posted in a minute here's how it stands on today's timeline iris and hair cut the lights working together Mesh beats and cast on your collaboration lucas rap clears his beef with blakey blakey reaches a new milestone and is set to drop a new music video let's get into it and guys i've been keeping up with Reese's activity on instagram since he's no longer active on twitter and the boy is really throwing in a couple of hints about a couple of stuff. He recently followed a couple of people that didn't expect him to follow and we know Rich doesn't just follow anyone, but he follows people he wants to work with. What really caught my eyes is he cut the lights in Rich's following on Insta. The well-renowned producer has produced a lot of hit songs and his work ethic is just top tier. He co-produced Pretty Ugly's sophomore album Soil and also produced a few songs on Blake's debut album before now. So I see his combination with Aries being a greater success. So I guess you might see him on Rizzo's album that he's currently working on. Aries' separation with Mesh Beats might have actually given him the platform to work with more producers, trying different sounds. We've seen him work with Lunatic on Godlike on his previous project, Deadlines Free P2, and also some more well-renowned producers, the likes of Not Benjamin and Can't You Come Over. But what do you guys think of Reese working with Haircut the Lights? Share thoughts down below. Reese also followed the likes of Focalistic, Young Stana, and Fellow Letty. And all these guys are piano bros. And the last thing I want to see Reese making is a piano song. I'd literally be shocked. But one thing I know is that Young Stana and Fellow Letty really love Reese and his work so much. So I guess it might just be a friendly follow. But do you guys think Reese would make a piano song? Tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. And while still on Aries, it seems like the boy will be bringing back the Reese effect So as he posted on his Instagram story to say, RE tour, which means Reese effect tour. And on to the next topic, Mesh Beats finally responds to Casper New Rest. Remember a fan once asked Casper New Rest if he would make a song with Mesh Beats and Casper had said, he's keen on working with him as he's just trying to work with people who just want to make bread. Now Mesh Beats came out to respond to Casper New Rest by saying, it's time, I've been keen, brother. And all he just needed to add on this after that I've been keen, brother, is that Aries has been holding me back from working with you. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, guys. But yeah, do you guys think this will be a great collaboration? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I personally think Casper Universe and Mesh Beats will make great songs together. But Casper Universe should try to control himself and work more on mastering his craft. Not just getting in the studio and say anything that comes to his mind. His lyrics have to match his vibe. And I think they should just add Madlera on their collaboration and just take it all the way to the top. But anyway guys, share thoughts down below. And on to the next topic, Lucas Raps clears his beef with Blackie on a podcast. As he says, Blackie is actually the one who's having a problem with him. And he's forever chilled to welcome Blackie back to his life. One thing about Lucas, he loves his brothers so much. And it hurts so much how the niggas you put on come back to shit on your face. But hey man, this is the game and everyone is playing their part. It just hurts so much if what he's saying is really true that he really misses being with Blackie so much. Here's what he had to say. You and Blackie scrolling through the gram and I saw a young interview he did, right? And he's talking about how y'all aren't really as close as you guys used to be back then. You know? Uh, how do I put this? I don't have beef with Blackie. Mm. Uh, when I see him I rock, I tap him up, you know right. what I mean? But like, it's something I told him where it was like, yo, bro, imagine we ants in a container, right? Mm. I'm a red ant, you a black ant, right? Yeah. Someone shook this container and we started mm. getting angry with ourselves. Okay. So we the enemies, okay. The person who shook the container. Yeah. That's the best way I can explain mm. it. And I learned my lesson and I went my way. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have this. And I'm I'm at peace right now. Wow. I'm not the type of person to like talk bad on things. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But that really did hurt me. Mm. I'm at the point where it's like there was so much damage done that we can only either build from it or let go. But CK knows. I've told him how many times. Yo, me, yeah, I miss my bro. Sure. So it's up to you as the bro. And all still on this, just to address something. I'm working on a documentary of Blackie and Lucas Raps' journeys. I guess that's where most of these things will be cleared out. But anyway guys, do you guys think Blackie is really hating on Lucas or it's just a thing of not mixing business with friendships? Just comment down below. And while still on Blackie, Blackie reached a new milestone of 30 million all-time plays on Apple Music and a big congratulations to him for reaching that new milestone. And he is set to drop yet another music video of Ronda that he shot in the US. And it's looking crazy man. This might actually be the video of the year but let's wait till the full video drops on Friday. 
and then we'll decide on how it is but Blakey never disappoints with visuals anyway guys that is the end of the video like the video and subscribe to the channel for more peace out